Mr. Young, as everyone knows, this is a nonpartisan race. No one will have a D or an R next to their name on the ballot on October 5th. Now, you've said that you are a Democrat. Mm -hmm. However, twice since 2016, you have voted in the Republican primaries. Um, and you've, again, you said that you are a Democrat, and this is a largely Democratic city. Mm -hmm. Now, at a time when we are highly partisan on a host of issues, voters are going to look at a candidate who best represents their interest. So how would you assure the majority of voters in Memphis that you will look out for their interests as mayor? Yeah, so, so thank you for that question, and I'll repeat what I've said over and over, which is I am a Democrat. I've done some strategic crossover voting in Republican primaries, uh, but what I like to drive people to are the results that we're seeing in our community, because we've had Democratic leadership, Republican leadership, and when you look around our communities, the results have been the same. The people in our neighborhoods, when I go to Orange Mound, when I go to North Memphis, South Memphis, they're not asking me, are you a Democrat? They're asking me, what you gonna do? How are you gonna change the conditions that I'm seeing in my community right now? And so what I do is I rely on my track record. Look at the work that I've been doing all across this city. The people in Memphis need results, not partisanship. And so I'm a Democrat, but I'm going to get the job done. That's what I want people to know. Okay.